All right, guys, so we had our sealer flash, and it's nice and, uh, and dry. It's ready to be tacked, and it's very important. Right now, I'm mixing my base, and this is a one quart sprayable. I'm not going to name the brand as I'm not getting sponsored or anything, just, uh, just kind of showing A through Z how to do a nice, clean paint job, professional paint job. Um, so every time you run the fan, um, between the coats, I recommend tacking it. Like I said, not every painter does that, but for me, that worked uh, all the time. I tack it, so because every time the fan blows, I mean pools, you do have little particles up in the air. Like I said, we don't have a sixty thousand dollar paint booth. It's uh, it's it's only about ten, twelve thousand dollar paint booth. So we went ahead and uh, mixed our paint. As you can see, it's nice. Um, nice and silver and we went went and checked all the paint variants to the car before we mix the paint so it's a mix ratio one to one on this one so now we're going to go ahead and uh, apply a first coat of base okay so I went ahead and tacked it and uh, before I start applying my base there's one step that I did miss uh, on the panels that we're blending. You don't have to do this, it's an optional. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply a, a blending, uh, base coat blending uh, solvent product on the hood, pillar, and the door where I'll be applying a new color. That will actually let the base uh, sit properly and the metallic not gonna stand up. Um, so you don't have to do this. A lot of painters don't do this. This is an extra step that you could uh, do if you're looking for perfection. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one coat and uh, you don't have to mix it. It comes straight out of the can. You just uh, dump it in your gun and uh, you want to put a little bit um, on, where, on, the, on those panels where you're blending. So we're going to do that right now. As you can see, it's nice uh, glossy finish. It's not a clear coat. Um, it's just uh, blending out of it. We're gonna let that flash for about two, three minutes and we're ready for our base. All right, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and blend uh, new, the, the used panels right now. We'll let that flash and uh, we'll do one more coat. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a uh, first coat of base on my body parts, my bumper and my fender. So uh, while my blend is flashing, I'll do one more coat on that and that'll be perfect. Um, but I'm gonna have to probably put two coats at least possibly two and a half coats for that color to cover that gray. Uh, if that was black, if I didn't seal it, it would probably take five to six coats. So that would be a lot of base. And uh, when you're spraying metallics, you, wanna, uh, you don't want to let your gun sit for a while because what's going to happen, uh, it's a gravity effect. All the 
metallic will settle and then you could have uneven uneven uh, metallics on your body panel so we want to make sure you always shake your gun um, or take the base out put it in a container mix it and dump it back in the gun don't want to let your silver metallic stay in the gun for 10-15 minutes while all the panels are flashing because you will not have the same type of uh, metallic and the fenders, especially in the sun. If you use a sun gun or if you take the car in the sun, you'll definitely see a uh, difference in metallic and it will be blotchy. That's my first coat on uh, the fender. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the fan and uh, do the bumper. So here's my blend. It has not been cleared yet. As you can see, it's not blotchy. I'm gonna walk back and, and show you the door. As you can see, my blend is perfect. All right. There was a little scratch. We decided not to 
repair that scratch. Um, but you can see there's no blotches in silver. This is me bringing the camera real close. And that this little scratch will be under clear anyway. Since I'm zooming in on it real close, it shows it looks bad, but obviously from the distance it's not. But what I'm trying to show you guys here that this silver, this is my panel. This is my shadow. The dark is my shadow. Because I'm standing right in the front of the light. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh we are pretty much ready for clear coat. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one more coat on my bumpers because that's only been one coat. And, uh, but also that's turning out really nice. You can see no black blotches. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do one more coat of base and uh, we'll tack it and we'll be able to clear it. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's nice and shiny. Alright guys, so we are pretty ready to go ahead and tack it and clear it. As you can see, uh, my blends are beautiful and this is my side door. You can see there's no blotches and I'm bringing it real close so you can see there's no blotches. And I'm also going to go ahead and get a sun gun and, and uh, put the sun gun on to show you the blend. Alright, so check this out. I got my sunlight and this is my metallic and if you could let me see if I I want to show you that there's no blotches all right it's very hard to show you with camera but you could see this is my original door and look at the metallic look how even it is through entire door silvers are the hardest silvers golds high metallics are very hard this is my other blend and you could you could see that all my metallic is you can see it's a coarse metallic and it's all the same through my entire blend actually there's more light because I have a light above this is my fender you can see there's no blotches and I have my sun gun here let me change the option as you can see it's beautiful it's gorgeous so there's no blotches so we are ready for clear in just about five minutes nice and even same on the bumper no blotches